This video will cover the topic rational exponents, unit fraction exponents, and whole number bases. Don't fractional exponents have something to do with radicals? You're right. There's an equivalence relationship between the two that we define as a raised to the 1 over n equals the nth root of a. For example, 8 raised to the power of 1 third is the same as the cubed root of 8, and 256 raised to the power of 1 fourth is the same as the fourth root of 256. Okay, but how am I supposed to know what the cube root of 8 is or what the fourth root of 256 is? Let's start by looking at some powers of 2. The exponent tells us how many times to use the base in multiplication. So 2 raised to the first power is 2, 2 to the second is 4, 2 to the third is 8, and so on. It's helpful to know the first 6 or 8 powers of 2 because they tend to come up quite a bit. It's also helpful to know the first few powers of 3, 4, 5, and 6. Knowing some of these powers is useful because it will help make our completion of these problems go by much quicker. That seems like a lot of memorization. It may feel like that at first, but once we practice many of these problems, we'll start to recognize some of the roots and powers. Now let's go back to that first problem, 8 raised to the power of 1 third. This is the same as the cube root of 8. That means we want to determine what number will equal 8 when it's used three times in multiplication. Well, in the powers we listed out, it looks like 2 to the third power equals 8. So would the cube root of 8 be 2? That's right. Since 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, that means that the cube root of 8 equals 2. And since the cube root of 8 is the same thing as 8 raised to the power of 1 third, 8 raised to the power of 1 third equals 2. Okay, well what about the other problem, 256 to the 1 fourth? I know that's the same as the fourth root of 256, and I see that 2 to the 8th power is 256. But we are looking for the fourth root of 256, not the 8th root. Well, let's try listing out some fourth powers of a few small integers. 1 raised to the fourth power equals 1. 2 raised to the 4th power equals 16, 3 raised to the 4th power equals 81, and 4 raised to the 4th power equals 256. Wait, so 4 is the 4th root of 256, because 4 to the 4th power equals 256, which means that 256 to the 1 4th power is 4. Great job. Let's try just one more. Let's evaluate 125 raised to the power of 1 third. I can see that this is asking us to take the third root of 125. This means we need to list out some third powers of a few small integers. 1 to the third equals 1. 2 to the third equals 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. 3 to the third power equals 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 27. 4 to the third power equals 4 times 4 times 4, and that equals 64. And 5 to the third equals 5 times 5 times 5, and that equals 125. Since 5 to the third equals 125, this means 125 to the 1 third power equals 5. Great work! Okay, so expressions involving fractional exponents can be rewritten as radical expressions. When asked to evaluate one of these expressions, we can list out some powers of integers until we find the right answer, and eventually we might even be able to remember some of the powers of these integers. That's exactly right. Good job! 